guys, today we're gonna be playing a really fun game called Batman. I'm Batman. On the TurboGrafx-16. Or in my case, I'm gonna be playing the PC Engine version. So I really love Sunsoft's Batman on NES. That's one of my favorite games of all time. I also really like the Sunsoft Batman game for Game Boy. And there's also one on Genesis, which I haven't played yet. But the thing that gets a little confusing is they all have the same exact cover. I wanted to show this game some love because nobody really talks about it and it's a really fun puzzle slash maze game. So let's cut to it and play some Batman. So this is a really long game so I don't know if we're going to be beating it today. But luckily there is a password system that is actually really cute so I kind of want to show you guys really fast. So you're these little Batman, and you can choose between like the Joker, like which direction they're going. I don't know, I just think that's a cool feature. Wait till they get a load of me. I also think that between the Sunsoft Batman games on NES and Game Boy, this one is a lot closer to the movie. I can't talk for the Genesis one, because I haven't played that one yet. See, right away we're seeing enemies from the movie. Those mimes, they were in the movie. Aren't mimes creepy? So right now we're moving real slow, but we were gonna get some boots. So luckily we got some boots. Okay, so we got the boots. So now we're gonna go a little faster because, thank God, because that would suck if we didn't get those. So as you can see, when you throw the battering, you can't move until it's done like spinning the guy. So. That sucks, but I believe there is a power-up um, to get faster batterings. Good, so we found more boots, so now we're gonna go even faster. When you get to the later stages, it is so, like, it's so detrimental that you get the boots. Because when you get a game over, you can start from the same place, but you lose all of your um, power-ups. So it can be pretty brutal later on. So normally I don't like maze type games because I'm really bad at directions and remembering where I've gone and stuff, but for some reason this game doesn't piss me off. Well, okay, towards the end of the game I do get a little pissed off, but overall I can handle it a lot better than I can in other games. I'm just like, there's a, the first thing that comes to mind, there's like a maze level in Yoshi's Island that I hate, and I love that game, and I don't have trouble with a lot of it because I've played it so much, but that maze level, it pisses me off every time. We're going so fast right now. I know I'm jinxing it, but I'm like, I really hope we don't die, because I don't want to have to get all these power-ups again, because right now we're in a pretty good spot. The last time I played this, I think it was right after beating the NES version, and it's like, it's such a different vibe. It's like kind of a relaxed vibe at first. I mean, then it gets a little hectic, but right now it's just like a really fun change of pace. So I really recommend it if you're into any of the Sunsoft Batman games and you need to like switch it up a bit. This is a good game to do that. I think I enjoy this movie so much because like, you know, it was before the whole superhero thing got really serious, which is fine, but like, oh man, I could have got that power up. <laughs> But anyway, it was just more of a fun, like, kind of fantasy universe. So I really enjoy the movie, I really enjoy these Batman games. Batman probably is my favorite superhero now that I think about it. I really like Batman. Whoa! Mmm! I was gonna say, damn! We lost all our power-ups now! Well, that's part of the game. I really enjoyed the Matt Fraction run of the Hawkeye comics. So I really like Hawkeye and comics, but in the Avengers movie, I don't know, I don't really like him so much, he's kind of boring. But yeah, I'm not a big, like, um, DC Marvel person, but I do like my Batman. Yeah, besides Hawkeye, like, Batman's the only, like, superhero comics I've actually read. Like, I read, uh, I really liked Year One and Killing Joke and stuff like that. Nice. Two in a row. See how awesome that is? It's so satisfying. Okay, so we're slowly getting some stuff back. Oh god. See? And they respawn like some motherfuckers. Uh. Really wish we could find some boots. See, they don't put as many boots the, like, um, the higher you go in levels. And it sucks. Oh, boots! Thank god. Okay, now we're in a little bit of a better spot. 
You know what's a character I like from that movie? Um, Bob or something, like the Joker sidekick that he kills in the end. I, I don't know, I think that guy's really funny. Bob, it's done. So now we get to play Frogger as Batman. Ah! I hate when they put stuff in places where it's useless. Oh, okay, never mind. So I guess that blows enemies off the screen even if you can't see them on the screen when it happens. So that's pretty cool. That wasn't cool though. Ah! Fuckers. Ah, no, no! Damn it, damn it, damn it! I wanna find a box of batterings on- Wouldn't that be fun? You're just walking down the street and you're like, oh, a box of batterings. How fun would that be? Ah, run! Oh, you asshole. Mm. So now it's finally time where it like gets a little bit hard to keep track of where you've been. At least when you're Aaron. It's hard to remember where you've been. Move! Damn! I knew it was coming, but it's still super aggravating because when you shoot, you freeze. Like, you can't move. Later on in the game, because now we're kind of getting into the game, it becomes really, really annoying. So, I'm, I'm starting to feel that anger start to build up. Yeah, the mimes with the gun are definitely, I think, some of the toughest. And then later on, I think when we got to the museum, um... You encounter some guys there that run really fast, even faster than those dark blue mimes, and it drives me nuts. Now you wanna get nuts? Come on, let's get nuts. Yay, we found a new triangle. You know what's funny? How he does that grappling hook thing? You know what part was really funny in the movie? When he asked Vicky Vale her weight, and she's like, oh, like 102 or something, and I'm like, bitch, please. And then I like when he goes, like, you weigh a little more than 102. <laughs> Thought that was funny. <gasps> cutscene time! Our first cutscene. That was very short, <laughs> but it was cool. Okay, so now we're in the museum. So basically now we are cleaning off all the graffiti left by Joker and his henchmen. So Batman is now cleaning graffiti. Because of course Batman would do that, right? So now that I'm replaying this game, it's like I wish that um, the, the scenes would change up a little bit more than they do. Like, because it's every 12 stages, you know, you get a new area. So now we're in the museum finally, and before that we were just in general Gotham City. So that's one complaint I do kind of have. Like, now I'm like, <sighs> they could have made it a bit more interesting, but it's still fun for what it is. For a puzzle game, it's fun. So Mike got these the other day. There are a bunch of Topps trading cards from the Batman movie. I, I miss seeing this. Like, I remember going to, like, the grocery store and stuff, and there would be a counter in the back. Because at the grocery store I used to go to when I was little, there'd be, like, a place to rent video games and a place to rent movies. And then there'd be a little counter with a bunch of candy and, like, remember those beepers filled with candy? But there was also trading cards sometimes, and they want to have a ton. But I remember I would get, I was really into collecting Mighty Morphin Power Ranger cards, but... I got some Batman. It just makes me think of when life was more simple. I'm gonna open one. So this comes with gum. Why did everything have to come with gum? You guys wanna see some like 30 year old gum or more than 30? It kind of, it doesn't really smell like gum anymore. It just smells like old paper, like an old book. So we got a Batman sticker. Vicky in peril. These are actually pretty cool. Batman lives. I don't know, I just wanted to show you guys that real quick cause I thought that was kind of cool. I totally forgot they came with gum though. Ooh. All right, so that was a taste of Batman on the PC Engine. I highly recommend it if you are looking for something Batman themed that's really unique and if you're into puzzly maze type games, I think you'll have a good time. What are some of your favorite Batman games? Let me know in the comments and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.